All right. Well, uh, thanks everyone for joining. Um, as as always, uh, we record these meetings and they get posted to YouTube after the fact for the people who couldn't make it. Um, but uh, so if that's a concern for anyone, uh, please let me know and uh, we can deal with that later. But uh, thank you for joining. Um, I know it's a it's a tough time with it uh, being August and everyone doing uh, doing vacations and stuff. So. Um, I don't think there's a lot to actually talk about in this meeting, but we can add things to agenda as needed. Um, but just uh, just some updates. I don't think we need to do introductions. I think everyone here knows each other. Um, board farm status. Uh, you, you know, Mike, you were you were talking about some of the uh, board farm stuff you were using. You were doing it inside at QCA. Is there anything you'd be willing to talk about or be able to talk about um, that's relevant? Sorry. Is there a way to test? changes to the upstream code or the um is there a way to test changes to the upstream code no we well, haven't had that we have, don't have that set up yet um okay. one thing i was thinking of doing though at a bare minimum is to do um i know there's some basic static analysis you can do on python code um i'm not i don't remember what the what it is offhand but uh yeah. also we could just see run BFT at the very least. We know if you yeah. know if it totally breaks I, everything. I, I wasn't sure starter. if you you had set it up to um, maybe run a nightly test of you know the latest code or or not. I don't, and the the main okay. reason is because the uh, we run a slightly that slightly modified version of Board Farm. I see. I um, see for the limited users. Um, so uh, I have additional boards. I um, I can set them up. I just need to find the time to do that, really, um, and it. get the hardware. Um, OK. Is there, is there any stuff internally that, that those you're working on that's relevant to talk about or be interesting to people? Uh, I guess I've just been sort of improving some of the support for different QCA boards um, mm -hmm. and improving that and flashing of different uh, memory types because there's NOR, there's NAND, and NAND mm -hmm. NOR. Um, but just a few things like that. Um, otherwise, no, I guess I'm not sure the kind of boards that you're plugging in. Uh, yours. I have a question. I have a question for you, Mike. Do you have... Mm -hmm. um... Uh, a decoder reference design, a 40, 4019 based reference design that can run OpenWRT trunk, or does it have to run uh, QSDK for board farm to work? Okay, that sounds uh, good. Yeah, it it should be able to run it. Open yeah. OpenWRT trunk. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, which one is this? Still... It's based on a QCA 4019. Um, I'm not familiar with that. 4019 is Dakota tech code uh, name. Okay. Okay. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it should yeah. be able to run that, but I guess I haven't I haven't looked recently. I, th I thought it should. Okay. All right. Um. Anyone else doing anything with Board Farm? I don't think there's anyone else here who's doing Board Farm stuff, but I just thought I'd ask. All right. Um, on on uh, my end, I did uh, fix a problem that we had in the uh, Jenkins that was it was marking builds as succeeding when they weren't, um, and that was was causing some. We were getting these these weird situations where the tests would run, but there was no binaries to actually test, so it would fail, and then it would look like the test is failing when in reality the build had failed. Um, so I, I I did make that change, and I think it's seems to be working. They're just most of those problems were just these like little occasional build problems that weren't um, either weren't repeatable. Like there was a problem with uh, like the Git repository, the server was down, um, and there wasn't actually a problem with the build, just the server was down. Uh, so it wasn't a huge deal, but. Um, so yeah, that's that's really where I am with that. I haven't had haven't really had the chance to look at um, getting the AP one forty three. Uh, looking into the, the way the U boot is handled, um, 
to uh, I, I did do some work on um, it was a few weeks ago I looked at at working around the fact that they don't have echo in the u-boot so I used help and that worked um, to break into u-boot but then there was another problem um, it doesn't support DHCP in u-boot either um, which so and because of the way that oh the, really so that's a little more complicated then yes <laughs> yes so I, I I just briefly got into like okay what exactly needs what exactly do we need to change here and how are we gonna how exactly am I gonna do that and I, I did like a really quick test of setting the static IP and that it didn't didn't work so I was just like okay I I had spent like maybe 15 minutes on actually looking at it and understanding yeah, it so I yeah, haven't I think... encountered that <laughs> Well, I think that board has so limited flash memory that uh, they strip the U-boot of everything possible. So it's not very use, you know. <clears throat> it's not very user friendly, in the end. No. Do you, Mike? Do you know if you test that internally or? Um. So I have set static addresses in U-boot, and that has worked. Um. But. All the boards I've ever used at least have DHCP as a command that runs in U-boot. Um, so, but you said you tried static and that didn't work either. I, just like it was like I just set the IP and it, and I and it it didn't work immediately. And then I was just like, okay, I'll look into this some more. I just didn't get to the details. I, I think you time. might have to set one or two other things like uh, the. I'll look up the. I guess it depends on your U-boot what the variable names are, but there's like gateway and maybe a net mask and if okay. you set that along with the ip address i think uh, it should work <laughs> okay yeah um it, it, i don't know i mean if you have any code that deals with that internally that'd be you, really great to get them yeah if you type print or print env and maybe email that out i can at least see the very available things that you could set yeah um, and it also requires us changing the way that um, U-boot is handled, because it, it it assumes that DHCP is going to work, and then we need right. it's like we need a backup in case DHCP yeah. doesn't work. I, and that's actually that easy to, to handle, because uh, um, so in Python you can do a try accept. Yeah. So you would do Definitely. you know DHCP, but if you got an exception, now set those three Absolutely. variables, set the IP address, Definitely. blah blah blah, and then it should just yep. uh, work. Yep. There. So, yeah, just need to need to play with it a little more. So, um, yeah, I'll get that. I'll get that. Um, what was that again? The print in, in yeah, ENV. Yeah, print or just print ENV. Um, okay. Yeah. I'll look at that then. Um, I'll do that then. So yeah, that's kind of where we, where I am with Board Farm. I, also, I'm talking with Matt, and we're uh, looking to uh, submit a joint talk uh, for OpenWRT Summit. Um, on on board farm, so that should be that oh, should be interesting, cool. definitely. Yeah. definitely. Um, so uh, moving on, uh, funding open WRT projects. We've uh, we've fun we've really approved four of them, but uh, formally three uh, have been been approved. Um, so we're fine. We finalized Lucas contract, I think, um, and. Uh, one of the uh, other projects we funded, the uh, Lucy scheduling um, integration, internet access scheduling integration. The uh, uh, August is he's I emailed him yesterday just to kind of get a get a um, some sort of follow up, and he said he's he's actually done with it and he's going to be submitting it to the Lucy repository uh, for integration. So uh, that's that's very good. Um, I, I talked with Felix. Uh, he is working on, <clears throat> excuse me, working on his proposal, uh, the, his uh, his detailed uh, formal proposal. Um, we kind of had it. It was kind of a proposal that was done as part of a of an email thread, and it's kind of all everything's fine. It just needs to get into get into a formal proposal form. Um, he was busy last week, so he couldn't do it. He's doing it this week, and he's you know, um, going to get it to us early next week. So hopefully, and then it can be. Eric, I signed off yep. uh, Luca's contract. Okay, awesome, great. So Luca's is a 
is approved then and, and signed and he can get started on his work, which is working on uh, unique identifiers for UCI, which was one of the requirements that was needed um, for, for the work, the TR69 and CWMP work. And then he's also going to work on an initial integration of, of the uh, TR6, of ATR69 stack. Um, I don't know uh, if uh, Voitech, if you wanted to talk any any um, about uh, the soft at homes kind of schedule on on open sourcing or making that code available. Um, uh, I'm not really ready to do that. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm still in you know in the trying to get back to to the. Uh, <laughs> Current stream of work after my long holiday. So, yeah, as you can no imagine, problem. the number of things that <laughs> that I have to process uh, is quite huge. But uh, it will be done very, very soon. Okay, sounds good. Nope, totally understand. Yeah, I've, I've been there. No problem. Just about organizing the things. Uh, that's it. I'm sorry, I, I didn't catch that. I said that there is no fundamental problem. It's just about organizing the yep. things. Okay. Okay. Yep. Totally understand. Okay. So that's kind of the the schedule there. <clears throat> and uh, if you're on the TR69 base camp, I'm sure we'll have discussions there um, related to related to things like that and the integration and framework stuff. So. Did you hear anything back from the other the third project? Um. <clears throat> Uh, no, I, I didn't. Mean, are, I didn't. Are they underway? That's the I, I, Wi-Fi I, scheduling, I think. I don't know if I don't know if they're underway. I didn't follow up with them. They have a. They had a long. Um, they said they were. They had a lot Break. of stuff they were busy okay. on right now, so okay. they had. They actually are not. They committed to being their contract finishing in November, I think. Um, okay. Whereas the internet access scheduling one, they committed to the middle of September. So. Um, didn't feel it was probably necessary, but I can do that if if you'd like. Um, that's fine too. I was just so. I was just curious so I could write a note oh. about it, but it probably hasn't begun. But it was Wi-Fi scheduling, wasn't it? Yes, it was Wi-Fi scheduling. They're they're very similar style projects, but they're doing slightly different things. So, um, I I think we we should uh, start a uh, another uh, round of funding as as we talked about I think a couple weeks ago. Um, and if that's if that makes sense for everyone, I it, it'd be kind of nice if we could, uh, I think, announce it probably in like the next, you know, maybe next week or week after or something, and then uh, hopefully have it approved by um, or or close to approved by OpenWRT Summit. It would be kind of neat to do that there. Um, but any thoughts on that? Yes, sounds good. Um, from my side, so can can you also have some something like this, uh, like uh, that? For example, we suggest something, and if someone is interested in this topic, um, so at least we have some topics we would like to see there, but uh, um, um, we don't want to implement them. So, <laughs> sure. um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have I have an idea, and I know there's other company in Europe that has a display library, a graphics display library that's not mm -hmm. open that I would like to see open. And uh, so I was going to suggest that we pay them to open it, like fund them to do the work to make it a you know GitHub open source project. There's work behind documentation and all that other stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that would be that would be a good one if they if they would be willing to. Because that, then yeah. platforms that can <clears throat> drive a, a low end, you know, a a display. I think the creator, um, some of the other boards can mm, drive a small display and then you can do IoT hubs and gateways out of OpenWT platforms. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that sounds interesting. And it's a, a display library that's good for kind of a smart mm. display. Like it would be more like a cell phone type interface, not some clunky, difficult thing. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Sounds interesting to me. Um, Hauke, do you, do you have any recommendations for projects? I mean, that's kind of a, we tend to kind of have these kind of general, um, 
I mean, are there specific projects you think that we should recommend? So we would like to see um, Docker being supported. I think someone talked to Imagination about this. I don't know if something happened there. So Docker for for all, also for MIPS and ARM, in so that we can yeah use Docker images. On on OpenWRT. Yes, yes, on OpenWRT. Okay. And lead. Or, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I know. I, I know one of the tech writers for Docker who works at <clears throat> Docker. No. She's she's fantastic. Maybe she can point us to someone who might be able to do that from within Docker. I don't know. That'd if be they'd cool be interested. too. Yeah. Definitely. Eddie, are you are you thinking of uh, Docker on top of OpenWRT or OpenWRT in a Docker container? No, Docker on top of OpenWRT. So when I have the, the, an embedded device and router or something like this running OpenWRT, it would be nice to run Docker images in there. Ab so we have absolutely. currently we have LXC there, but um, when you look at the marketing from the marketing point of view, we have, you have that stuff and you can yeah Docker support. Um, Docker is the big shiny uh, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Docker is the shiny thing, and uh, LXC is a little, yeah, little bit. Yes, so, yeah. not, not so, so much about, marketing. So about two weeks ago, I queried Imagination on uh, both cases: Docker on OpenWRT, OpenWRT on Docker. Okay. Is anyone from the creator group on the phone? Does anybody have any comments on that? Because I think there is work already underway. Oh, on okay. Any comments? I don't there, think so. The right no. people. I don't. I don't think they're. I don't think they. They're not. Okay, on but this one, yeah, yeah. I, I'm really interested in that project as well. So I think that would be a great. Definitely. Yeah. I think you cut out their art, or maybe everyone cut out there. No. No. Sorry. I just muted myself. Oh. I didn't have oh, anything okay. else to add. <laughs> oh no. No problem. Um. Yeah. So I. I. One one way we could do this is 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 I I think we should have people kind of just say okay these are we should have everyone here who's who has like a project that we think that would be um, you know not massively large projects but you know decent sized projects to email the purple wrt list and I'll start a thread and we can we can talk about what are things what are particular projects we think and then obviously if there are any other projects that are you know, someone wants to propose that are particular. We find out, or hey, that's a great idea. That would be perfect for something to fund. Um, I think we should do that. So, I guess uh, I will. I'll send out an email, and then everyone be on the lookout and and please email the thread with any ideas um, on things you would you think we should we should fund. All right. Um. Anything else you want to talk about uh, funding OpenWRT projects? All right. Um, regulatory update. I don't believe there is any. Um, I, I, I guess I can ask Art. I mean, have I assume you haven't heard anything? It, they have completely silent for about weeks, uh, and they told us they were going to be on vacation. And so on. So I wasn't expecting anything. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Um, so no update there. Uh, OpenWRT Summit is obviously the the hot big thing. Uh, just a quick, uh, interesting point of information that I was I was very excited by. Uh, Cara from the Linux Foundation had emailed me something about the lunch, and she mentioned that there are 83 registrations so far, which is. Um, I would, if I remember correctly, last year we had about 40 at this time, so it's about double. Um, maybe there's just people registering early. Um, don't know, but it's certainly a, a great, uh, a great thing to hear. Um, and a reminder that uh, we have a de the deadline for su session submissions was extended to tomorrow. Um, it's not going to be extended again because we won't have enough time to actually uh, approve everything. So. Um, I encourage everybody who is who is interested in in submitting a session to to do so um, at openwrtsummit.org. Um, we've had a, a lot of great sub session submissions so far, but we're always looking for more, and uh, we'll try to fit as many in as we can that that are that are good for people. 
and, and good for the community and everyone involved. Um, I'm also going to be actually talking with uh, with an event organizer um, who is uh, based in in Germany. Um, she recently was, uh, I believe she worked at the Open Source Initiative, but just so I have someone on the ground who can help me with some of the logistics of understanding where things are and stuff like that. So um, hopefully that will that will go well and help me help a little bit with this. Uh, anything else about OpenWRT Summit that uh, people want to talk about? Okay. Um, I've apparently answered everyone's questions. Um, <laughs> are there anything else related to OpenWRT lead? Anything else we want to discuss right now? All right. Um, one, I just thought one thing, um, Hauke, I, I haven't kept up uh, super well from the lead side. Is there been any update on the lead OpenWRT kind of discussion on merging potentially? No, that didn't happen much. Uh, so no. many people, will, so there will probably be a meeting in, in, in Berlin at the OpenWRT ELC um, thing. Mm -hmm. Many people are, some people are located in Berlin and um, yeah, I assume there will be a meeting or something like this. That would be very good. That'd be great, in fact. Um, I certainly hope that happens. There's, obviously, there's anything we can do. Um, let, just let us know. Um, but, okay. Yeah, okay. Of course. Yep. Um, so, uh, I think that's everything then, unless anybody has anything else they want to bring up. Going once, going twice. All right. Um, well, uh, then thank you everyone for coming. Uh, we, we'll talk again next week, and hopefully we will either have finalized the submissions that, by then or have near finalized them, and uh, we can talk a little bit more. So, Thanks, everyone, for coming this week. See you next right. week. See you. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.